Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight's video, I'm going to be talking about uh, my sound system. A lot of people ask me uh, what I've done, what you know, what do I think of it, and everything. So we kind of, I'll, I'll go over it quickly, just what I've done, just kind of my review on it, because um, a lot of people are curious about this setup. So I figured I would mention it. I did do a video on it. Um, it was mainly about the head unit, and uh, I kind of just touched base on the actual speakers and everything. But I figured I would do an actual video on just the speakers alone. Let's unlock the car. And uh, let's get inside and I'll show you uh, just what I've done. Obviously, it's going to be a little hard to see what I've done um, because the door cards are on. But I'll go over quickly uh, just, you know, what I actually added to the car. Uh, so for me, this is a base model STI. Uh, I didn't want to go for the limited, mainly because I wasn't a fan of the leather used in, in the interior. Um, and I didn't really care for the sunroof. And um, the only thing that I did want... Uh, from the limited was the uh, keyless entry, but that was not a big deal for me So that's that's one of the main reasons why I didn't spend the extra I think it was like five grand for the limited uh, at the time So I stuck with the base knowing that I was going to upgrade the stereo system I uh, wasn't sure which route I was going to go But I had a feeling this was kind of my direction that I wanted so what I ended up doing was um, I ended up doing the OEM kicker speaker upgrade uh, tweeters door cards front and rear as well as the rear kicker subwoofer. Now, I'll show you quickly back here. Um, now, to me, uh, I'm not a big audio nut. I'm not crazy about amazing sound or anything. I'm sure I can appreciate it, but I'm not one of those people that goes out and, and like hunts for that perfect sound. These cars in general don't have a lot of sound deadening, so it's kind of hard to get a really, really good sound, uh, like something you would find in a German-made vehicle where there's a lot of sound deadening and proper uh, you know, Bang, Bang Alston and, and all the other uh, really great companies out there that uh, you can get factory. Uh, but with, we all know that the factory uh, Subarus, um, they just don't come with a good sound system. The Harbin Cardon is pretty decent, actually. Um, but, you know, it's it, honestly, I guess that's the other thing I would have uh, sprung for. But again, that was another four or five thousand bucks just to get that as well as the keyless entry and anything. Because at the time you were able to get a base level uh, STI with basically all the limited trim, all the limited options, but without the sunroof and leather. So I almost went for that, but the only color they had was red, which I do, I do like the red, um, but I really want a lapis blue. So, um, I guess that's another reason why I didn't go for it, but either way I went for the OEM kicker speaker upgrade. And the main reason for that is because I didn't want to mess with wiring. I didn't want to um, uh, cut up wires or, or have to splice anything or solder or anything like that. I, I literally just wanted to take the stock speakers out and plug new ones in. Uh, I didn't want to have to add all different types of brackets and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it was I just wanted a plug and play setup. I didn't really care if it was a huge upgrade. I just wanted something a little bit better. Um, so what I did was the first thing I bought uh, at the time, I didn't have the eye doing head unit. Um, so let me, I guess I'll get in here, sit in this Recaro seat that I love so much. Um, so at the time I didn't have this head unit, so I had a good idea. I kind of did it in stages as opposed to doing everything at once. Uh, and the reason for that was I mainly just did it um, because that's what I was able to do at the time. You know, I just didn't go and spend, you know, X amount of money to get the whole system done at once. Um, so I had the stock unit, um, you know, at first. And the first thing I did was I got this, the tweeters. The tweeters, I forget how much I paid. I think it was around a hundred bucks or so. I'll have to look exactly, but it was around there uh, for the tweeters alone. And I installed them first. Like I said, I did everything in stages because I wanted to see what made the biggest difference and which component actually made uh, it sound better. Um, so like I said, I did the tweeters first and instantly uh, the overall sound and the crispness just complete, it was night and day difference. Um, and I was really, really happy with you just doing the, the tweeters. I almost thought of not even doing the door cards because I was so much happier with how it sounded. Keep in mind, I still had the stock head unit. Um, so I did the tweeters. I was really happy with them. It sounded very crisp and clear. Um, and you know, and then I was like, okay, uh, let me try the door cards, door card speakers. So I ended up, can't see them obviously, but they're in there. I don't know if you can kind of see a, I don't know. They're in there. Shown in other videos, uh, I believe when I was doing my turn signals, um, but I had the door card off and I, I showed them real quick, uh, but I got the door card speakers next. I believe they were about 2.30 ish or something like that. Again, I should have looked up the numbers, but that's, I think that's what I paid for, um, yeah, from just from memory. I have the speakers in the front as well as the rear. Um, and 
after I did it, I found that the base level, you know, the, the low ends uh, weren't there as much. Uh, I felt with the stock speakers, um, it almost, it was a little bit, it was a little bit more muddle, muddled and it was a little bit more grungy sounding as opposed to these, which were much more, much more crisp and clear. Uh, but a lot of the low end disappeared. So I was, I almost was contemplating putting back the stock speakers and just running the tweeters. Um, but I said, you know what, there's an OEM or the kicker OEM uh, subwoofer upgrade that I was curious in trying. So I went on the forums and I kept searching and searching and searching and ended up finding the OEM kicker upgrade for 200 bucks. Normally, if you got this from the dealer, I think this was like four or $500, which is crazy. So I ended up finding somebody that was either selling the car or getting rid of the system. I don't know what they were doing, uh, but they ended up selling it to me for $200 shipped. The only thing it didn't come with is the actual harness to run it to the head unit. So I had to buy that separately. Um, so the, the actual unit was 200 and the harness was another hundred bucks. So 300 bucks, not bad. Uh, but again, from the dealer, you know, you're looking at four or $500, which is uh, pretty pricey, especially for something that you can get something probably much better for cheaper. Uh, that's not a kicker. You know, you can go completely aftermarket and get it. Um, you know, you can get it worked into the car, uh, for probably cheaper, but again, I wanted something plug and play. And I wanted something simple that looked clean and, you know, wasn't just, it's not just a box in the back. I just prefer this cleaner look. Um, and it's, it's securely in there. Um, all I had to do was run, literally run the harness from, from the subwoofer, uh, through the back seat and it's, um, down all, you know, where all the wires are through the, the sills right here, uh, and up through here to the, to the head unit. Um, and I gotta say after adding the subwoofer, it was a, it was, it filled in all the lows that I was missing. And, um, and it just, and now that I was able to, you know, balance things out and set the equalizer a little bit, uh, it sounded really, really, really good. And I was, I'm really happy with, I was really happy with Joe was just doing that. Um, but then I was like, you know what? I want a little bit more adjustability uh, in terms of, you know, dialing in the sound a little bit more. So I ended up getting this head unit, which is the iDoing head unit. Um, and this one has a little bit more uh, adjustability in terms of you know adjusting the the different levels and everything the stock head unit there's not much at all you can't really uh, manually adjust it that much there's only a couple little um, a couple things that you can adjust this one has a, a huge array of it which I'll show you in a second and after I did this just being able to power um, you know have a little bit more power in this unit to, to power the actual speakers uh, it's such a big difference. It really, really does sound good. And I am more than content with, with the overall setup. About like eight or 900 bucks. I think it's probably a little cheaper. Um, just, you know, with all the deals I got and everything, but if you're looking around seven, 800, I would say, uh, for this whole entire setup, which is pretty cheap, actually. Um, you know, you can go pretty, you can literally just buy an aftermarket head unit, um, for that much, you know, a, a really good brand like Alpine or something like that, um, that are, that have, all the bells and whistles um, that are much better quality, I guess, than this. Uh, but again, I'm not a I'm not an audio nut, so I really, you know, I, all that extra money I would be paying for, I probably wouldn't even be using. I'm not using an amp or anything like that, so I'm really not. I wouldn't be taking advantage of it. So I'm more than happy with the i doing, as I have talked about in previous videos. But um, overall, I'm so happy with the kicker speaker upgrade. I highly suggest doing it um, if you're really not comfortable cutting things up. Um, and just, you know, you want a simple solution. And one of the best things about this is if I ever do get rid of this car, I can literally just pop all this stuff off, unplug it, put the stock ones back in and sell this whole entire setup. Um, and it works for any, you know, WRX or STI um, pretty much. And it, it even works in previous model years, I believe. Which is a really good thing because it, it opens up my market opens up the, you know, the buyers that are, could be interested in that. But, you know, I'm not, I, I have no intention of selling it. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. But that was something that ran through my head uh, when I was getting it. You know, it's, it has a good resale. Um, so again, I'm so happy with the overall sound of it. I get, I, I understand that it's not the best. I understand that probably with that money, you could probably get a much better setup to be completely honest. Uh, but again, I wanted that clean plug and play. I can do it in my garage. I don't have to have any really audio knowledge to, to, to make this work. Uh, it's literally, un, you know, pop the covers off, unscrew them, plug, unplug them, plug the new ones in and you're done, you know, and put everything back. And that's literally what the whole entire thing was. Super simple. It works perfectly. 
and I, I really couldn't be happier. So let's turn on the head unit. Um, I'll, I'll try to play. It's going to be really, really hard to get um, actual sound through the actual video of what it, you know, how good it sounds in, in person. I'll play some royalty free music just so you guys can get a sound, just I guess to get an idea. Uh, but again, it's not going to sound anything like it does in person, but I, I assure you it is a really, really nice upgrade if you don't have the Harman card on. Um, it is, I, I've been so pleased with it. I have no, can, I have no desire to go to anything else. I went for the whole mod of doing, uh, you know, like a sound, sound system upgrade, and this was the first one I tried, and I'm so happy with it. It's just so much better than stock uh, that basically anything a little bit better I was happy with. Um, so let's turn on the head unit. I'll show you the EQ again. This is this is separate from the actual stereo I just wanted to talk about the speakers, but I'll show you just I guess the equalizer and just how many more settings there are And I guess give you a little bit of a sound sample. All right So this is what we're looking at for the equalizer um, As you can see, there's a lot more adjustability. You have some presets up here um, To kind of you know, you can just select one that's already created um, And just use that if you want to but I end up using my own I guess a custom uh, custom level or setting. Um, so I just go around and adjust the levels based on what I prefer and what my ears like. Um, over here, you know, you can adjust the front and rear and, and you know, back or forward or whatever you want. Um, but I don't, I just keep it right in the middle for that. Uh, but if you look on your stock head unit, you'll notice that there's way less um, adjustability. I think there's only like three or four, um, you know, levels that you can change. And I remember having to put my bass, uh, my lows, like literally all the way up to get any type of uh you know low in into the into the speakers with the stock unit this one it's pretty it's not that high at all um and it just it sounds so good it really does i mean i'm sure there's some people that would disagree and that are really big into audio and say hey it doesn't really sound that good and i have this or that that sounds way better which i'm sure i'm sure that's the case but for me um this is more than enough i'm so happy with with you know the overall sound and the overall adjustability and just you know how easy it was i literally just plugged everything in um and it took me about an hour or so taking the door cards off and uh you know putting all the speakers in and it was just so much better so let me get a little bit of a sound clip uh, and see uh if i can get any type of decent sound through through the camera guys so there you have it i'm sorry it probably wasn't the best sounding uh sound clip but uh it was the best i could do just with everything that i have to be able to get uh, a decent audio um but i i really suggest anybody looking to upgrade their sound system and not looking to do anything crazy um you know check it out it's it's pretty inexpensive at least just doing the speakers uh if if i would suggest anything you're just looking to do something I would suggest doing the uh, tweeters first. Just try the tweeters, see how much better of a difference it is. Um, and then if you already have a head unit, that'd be even better. Uh, see how the stock speakers are, and maybe you'll upgrade them. Uh, but if you're gonna just do anything, I would suggest doing the tweeters first. They're pretty inexpensive. It's about a hundred bucks or so. I forget I forget what I paid, but it was around there um, just for those two. So I would definitely at least do that. And then if you want more, you can always do the, the speakers and the sub or, or, you know, go aftermarket, do something different. But for me, this was more than enough. It was absolutely exactly what I wanted. Uh, it was literally just a plug and play that set up that I, that I was looking for. And um, it's much better than stocks. So that's all I got for tonight. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you guys have any questions about the, the, the sound system that I have or the speakers or anything, just let me know. You can get all this minus the head unit from Subaru. Um, you know, from the OEM Subaru uh, catalog or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but most of the time you can find this stuff uh, through any of your dealerships. Um, you can also find it on eBay or, or the forums or something like that. A lot of these things get sold pretty uh, often. So I'm sure you can find a pretty decent deal. I'm sure there's a lot of Facebook groups and everything, people parting out cars that are getting rid of, uh, you know, their speakers and all that stuff. So be on the lookout. I would definitely suggest uh, picking it up if you're interested. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to ask them below. If you haven't liked the video, be sure to do so. If you're a newcomer, be sure to subscribe. 
And uh, yeah, guys, I'll check you guys on the next one. Peace out.